We all have heard of both the fat shaming and the skinny shaming in the K-pop industry. We have seen all the hate comments whenever an idol seemed to get some weight. But have you realized that many times these comments are also directed to one particular part of the body when it comes to female idols? I would say there is not only the fat shaming, but the fat leg shaming. And this is especially bad, as many times it is not weight gain, but rather muscle growth that happens. They are very different situations, and having more muscles is actually a sign of your body responding to exercise and helping you with having a high physical demanding activity, just what many of these idols have in their jobs. It could also be that they really gain some weight, and it is the most visible on the legs. The following list of the female idols have had to deal with a criticism towards their body, and many of them ended up changing their bodies. However, should this be expected from K-pop idols? Is having thin legs really that important for female idols in the industry? And before we continue with the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. You can also tell me which other video you would like to see in the future in the comment section down below. One of the most recent incidents of fat leg shaming occurred with Ji Woo of NMIX. She has been criticized for appearing more chubby in the videos of the group. However, most of the attention and comments have been directed towards the size of her legs. They say that her dancing talent is visible, but the weight has made her look less attractive. In a specific, her chubby legs make the dancing moves look less graceful, and therefore, she should manage herself more in order to look better at her job. However, is it really necessary for a female idol to have thin legs to look better on a stage? Another case of this has been Ryojin of Itzy. She has actually talked about the pressure of having a thin and fit body for idols and that it is part of their job. However, when it came to Nadison saying that she had gained some weight due to her legs being more muscular, I have to say that it may have caused a toll on her. It was not criticism as some fans even agree on her being the thickest in the group and that she looked better that way in her promotion of Wannabe and Not Shy. Nonetheless, after this combat she started to lose some considerable weight, and soon enough netizens noticed and started praising her for it. Something similar happened with Joy of Red Velvet and Jenny of Blackpink. During the first years of Red Velvet, Joy was criticized for looking chubby and for her legs looking so thick. In the K-pop industry, one of the talk about beauty standards is the thigh gap or having a space between the thighs. Idols like Joy and Jenny are praised whenever they appear to have these characteristics or have lost weight. But when their legs are bigger, the opposite happens. Especially with Jenny, she is one of the most talked about idols and that implies that a lot of negative comments can also be found. There are several posts with the titles of Jenny being fat or gaining weight and one recurrent topic is whether her legs look bigger or not. There have even been articles claiming that she didn't edit her photos correctly and that her legs are actually not that slender. Then again, she's compared a lot with other members and that is definitely something that can really affect her confidence. This type of situation was also seen with Jihyo of TWICE and Luna of FX. Both of these idols were compared by the public and even with their other members. Jihyo was overall said to be overweight and that also included pointing out the size of her legs. She later on lost the weight and was praised, but it is undoubtedly true that she was pressured by the public to achieve the ideal weight according to the Korean beauty standards. In the case of Luna, she was always compared with other members and many times the focus was put on her legs. She used to have very muscular legs and that contributed to netizens calling her fat or bigger in size than the other members. She has talked several times of all the exercise and diet she did to lose weight. But what it is also evident is that her legs were one part of her body that was highly affected by the weight loss. There are even compilations of photos and articles showing the change in her legs. And people comment that it is impossible to have those changes with only exercise and diet. The muscle loss is many times attributed to beauty procedures like the use of carboxy shots. I have already talked about this procedure before, but essentially, these injections destroy fat cells in the area they are injected on. You can see more about this procedure and many others in this video. 
Another idol that was said to use carboxy shots a lot and that was also criticized for her leg size was Sully, also from FX. She was one of the idols that was criticized the most. And not only about her weight, but overall she had many haters. However, I have to say that one of the first topics she was hated with was her supposedly fat legs. In a very famous national show in Korea, an audience member said to Sully directly that she had to lose weight in her legs. And before that, I remember seeing many comments with the same kind of words. She was in a difficult situation that pushed another idol once again to change her body. This also happened to other idols of the second generation, like Jessica of Sonishide and IU. Jessica was once criticized for having muscular legs, especially during the promotions of Kissing You. I have found compilations and videos stating that Jessica had fat legs and showing how she changed over time. While she was praised for her body change, one should wonder whether this is actually healthy or not. Is this really part of the job of being an idol? With IU, it happened the same. She was criticized for being fat and having chubby legs, and she later on lost a lot of weight. However, we now know that the whole process was very deteriorating to her mental health, and it wasn't done in a healthy way. Finally, we have the example of the idol that has always been pointed out for having fat legs and the one that decided to embrace it the most. Wasa from Mamamoo is a clear example of finding the beauty in muscular legs. She is also the proof that not all idols have to be thin on the legs to look good. She has talked many times about how she loved the look of artists like Beyoncé, whose body proportions do not adhere to the Korean beauty standards, and how she decided that if she couldn't fit into the standards, she would create her own. This opens a question of whether having more muscular or chubby legs in K-pop should be more appreciated and whether idols should stop trying to change these parts of their bodies. It is, after all, not only the fault of the public, but also but our own understanding of beauty that also creates these situations. That is the whole list for now. I'm probably missing more female idols that were criticized for having fat legs but you can put them in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. And tell me which other videos you would like to see.